All right, guys, so I went ahead and picked up these coilovers for the M45. They are actually for a G35, but they should fit with no problems. I think the only modification that I may have to do is um, with the brake lines. I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same, but we may have to change that if it is a little bit different. But for the most part, it's the same. As long as it has the forks at the bottom, like these right here, then it should work because for the M45, at least the rear wheel drive one it has forks on each corner. So right now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and preload these because they're not preloaded. They are actually really, really loose. So like for example, this one right here, really loose and this is just hand tight. In order to preload these, you have to go ahead and tie in up the top portion of this right here, hand tight, as much as possible until it no longer moves. This one's actually really loose. So we gotta move this one by hand until it stops moving by hand. I think right there is pretty good. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put the bottom collar all the way to the top. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and spin the top portion of this collar. I need a bigger one right here. And you're gonna keep spinning it until you can get the spanner to fit right in the middle of these two. That's your proper preload and then you're gonna tighten it up. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, it's almost there And there you go, so just like that your preload is good now you're gonna tighten this up And you're gonna tighten both of these together so it doesn't move anymore Now we got to loosen the bottom collar in order to adjust it because when you put it on the car um, if it's tight you won't be able to place it correctly. We will have to loosen this one right here in order to move the bottom side so we can adjust it exactly to where we want it. We're gonna have to do that to all of them. So I'm gonna finish that up. You guys have an idea of how to preload it. And then we're gonna go ahead and install this on the car. So I'll go ahead and move over to that point where I'm pretty much ready to go ahead and throw these on the M45. All right, so this is how the car looks right now with the stock suspension. And then we're going to go ahead and install the coil levers to see how it looks once it's lowered. Alright guys, so I went ahead and removed the wheel. And the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is technically start removing that bolt right there at the bottom. I believe there are 17 mils, but I'll keep you updated. Now, I've done quite a few installs when it comes to air suspension. And the best way that I've found to actually remove the strut is by removing this bolt right here. Taking that off, that'll release the whole assembly, it'll drop down and that'll give you enough space to remove that. I think I might, yeah, I for sure will. I'll have to remove uh, this thing right here as well because that'll give it even more space to drop down even lower. So I don't know if I have to take it off all the way, but we'll see because I think the last time I did something like this, the sway bar was actually holding it up and I couldn't get it to like, move all the way down. I've gotten everything loose for the most part. I went ahead and removed this thing right here. Um, it was just a 17 mil on the other side right here. Lift it with a jack on this bottom portion and that'll leave it loose so you can just pull it out. Um, if you just leave it like that, there's no way you're gonna be able to pull it out. It's gonna be really hard. And then um, I went ahead and loosened this. This is a 14 on each side, the brake line, which is a 12 mil. These right here at the bottom, they're also 17 mil. So we're technically good to go ahead and start like releasing it but i need to remove the top ones over here which i believe are 12 but i might be wrong so we just gotta remove those and it should come out i right, guess so i got everything on and i have no issues whatsoever connecting everything all the brake lines go where they're supposed to go well this is actually not a brake line this is like the abs system right here it goes right there the brake line is this one right here mounted up perfect no issues at all so it's perfect figment. Here you can see at the top, everything really tied up. 
so now this side is good and honestly if i'm being completely honest this probably took me like i would say 30 minutes to do one side so everything was pretty straightforward loosen this it fell down taking this off made it a whole lot easier you have to have to remove this if you don't it's just gonna get stuck right there you can't move it down and then after you loosen the top bolts you're gonna push on this really really hard and it's gonna allow it to drop down and then you can take it out um, you don't have to remove like that thing right there that plate i was able to take everything off without removing that but i mean you can to make it a little bit easier just to slide out but i was able to do it just like this so this side's good i'm not gonna tie in the bottom color just yet and so far it looks like it's gonna be three inches on each side from the top collar to the bottom one exactly so that's where we're gonna put it at we're gonna go ahead and begin removing the other one that way we can ensure that it's even to an exact measurement instead of just kind of guessing um, i measured three inches on one side i'm gonna do three inches on the other side as well so now we don't have to really adjust it it should sit perfect um now that i know exactly like where i want it i kind of have to like right above the tire i don't want it to be too low where it's like hitting the tire so we'll see right now how it looks once i lower the other side because it might change it up a little bit we may have to adjust it but we'll see right now uh, let's go ahead and start installing this one on there all right so right now i'm connecting the rear ones and this one's actually really easy there's nothing that really goes to connect it to the body of the coilover itself but i did run into a little issue with the top part the nuts that go on there are kind of like interfering with this part right here of the spring so when you put it on there you kind of have to like move it around until you can get the threads on there by hand and then tying it down but i'm not sure why it's hitting it like this is too fat right here to, to the point where it's like hitting it um, right there on the side so we just got to move it around so you can get it in there and the rest of it's pretty easy but let me show you guys right now what i'm taking off so right now i'm just removing this one right here the 17 mil um there's no bolt on this side or uh, not on this side so you just gotta loosen it those two at the top and then right here you just gotta take these off as well there's 17 mils once you remove it this thing will drop down very easy and you gotta remove the spring because it is a true coilover it comes with the springs you don't need these so you just have to take the top hat off along with the rubber piece right here and that's technically it all right so it's the part i'm talking about right here that it's really hard to get it in there but once you tie in one then the other side kind of gets loose a little bit so you need to go ahead and just like hammer it in and you'll be fine and then for this right here it just falls down like that take the spring off and then this part you're gonna jack it up until you can get the bolt through there so once we like move it up it'll be able to fall into place for this bottom one just lift it put it in once you do that you can actually use your jack to push this up over here and that'll allow this to go up as well so you can just put the bolt in there um, don't try to use your hands to be able to like push it up because it's gonna be way too hard you need a jack in order to be able to push it up really easy all right so once you have your jack right here if you look at that hole once you push it up it's gonna start aligning it and just make sure the coil actually feeds in there keep pushing it and right there looks like it's right where that hole should be so now we just gotta stick the stud in there and then we should be good but i'm just jacking it from right here all right guys so here is everything installed on the m45 and as you guys can see it looks really really clean with these wheels on there and now being lowered it's just a huge difference on the car i do feel like that on video it doesn't really do it justice um it does actually look a lot better in person it looks a lot cleaner um with the wheels and being lowered it looks really sick and this is actually not like super super low just because um if i went a little bit lower like on the rear i did mention that i went to 2.5 but i actually changed it to three inches because it was hitting a lot like i'm not even exaggerating when i was trying to get out of my driveway it honestly scraped so hard that i kind of like bottomed out and didn't really want to move so i had to reverse it but i did go back to three inches um on each side so the front's three inches from the top collar to the bottom one the rear is also three inches from the top collar to the bottom one uh, you may have to go a little bit higher on the rear depending on the type of wheels that you have like these they stick out quite a bit so i can't really go much lower without pulling the fender more than it i already had to i did actually have to go ahead and pull the fender that way it's flat like right now if you put your fingers under your fender you can feel that there's a lip i actually went through it with a bar and i pushed it in of course i had to heat it up so 
it doesn't like crack the paint that way it's not going out and hitting the tire whenever it like bottoms out or it goes through and it hits the tire for the rear that's not the case though it doesn't have a lip on it it's just going straight down so i had actually pulled the fender to give it like a lip going outward i'm gonna take it somewhere to get it redone though because it doesn't look like perfect perfect i actually want to make it look like it has another lip on the fender so it looks really nice and clean um, I think I did it on a previous car that I had, but I no longer have it, so I can't really show you guys. But when the guy did it, he actually made it look really nice when he folded it. But that's how it's looking. I didn't get to show you guys the lug nuts either, right here at the back. But these are the ones I got. Got them from Amazon. They came out really clean. <laughs> that's pretty sick i would love to have a little go-kart like that like these guys just drive around here with their go-karts to go all the way around and there's even some um bigger ones i think they call atvs or yeah i think they call atvs they go all the way around and they just like drift and go through here all fast and shit it's really sick but it looks really good i'm really happy and satisfied with the way that it looks like it looks really clean nice drop and I didn't want to go with springs because when it comes with springs, like once you drop it, you can't adjust it. Like it stays like that. But with coilovers, you have the capability of being able to adjust the car. That way, if it's too low or it's too high, you can actually change it up a little bit. So with these coilovers, um, they are called Raceland coilovers and they're the middle ones. I think they're called Ultimo. So that's the ones that I got from a homie of mine, actually. Um, his name is Wedo. He actually sold them to me for a really, really good deal. And I could not pass it up. And I really want to thank him for selling them to me because coilovers for a car, uh, brand new, you're looking at, depending on the brand, of course, 600 plus. Um, I got these for 200 actually, which is a really, really good deal. And they go for like, I think a 600 to 700 brand new. And then if you want to go with like BC, you're looking at like pretty much a thousand because you still got to take care of shipping, taxes, things like that. It's a lot of money. And then air suspension is another story. Depending on the brand, of course, again, um, like I think the cheapest one is probably like True Heart. That one is like maybe uh, 2,500, I think. And then Airlift, you're looking at over 4K for Airlift on a car. I'm really happy with this car. Um, the, sound, the car sounds amazing. I do want to add an exhaust to it. And actually speaking about the exhaust, I haven't touched the base on the engine that I was doing. And it's actually doing really, really good. Like it's amazing right now. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. it hasn't overheated. I have no knocking, ticking, anything going on with it. Um, it's actually doing really, really good. So um, I'm happy about that because I thought at first when I installed it, um, if you guys watched the previous video when I installed this engine, there was some knock and I showed you guys um, the video, what was going on. And after like the day that I installed it, it hasn't done it since. So I'm not sure if fluids just had to run through it. Maybe the injectors were clogged, causing um, knock, getting all messed up but no issues after that so everything's going really good with this car now i do want to do a few more things to it to prevent any like future issues from coming up uh, for example the oil cooler i would like to purchase one because it is hot in arizona and engine oil coolers help out a lot i have it on my 370z and it does wonders to that car um honestly like it'll go down like 20 degrees and it won't go up from there i think you said like 260 degrees now it doesn't even go like 180 or, or even over 200 degrees on that car so it does do wonders to it another thing i want to do is actually a oil catch can oil catch can is going to be another thing that i want to purchase for it but a few more updates on what i want to do with this car um if you guys saw already on the rear i'll show you guys right now but let me show you the front really quick i did add the lip i still need to add the lip on this one on the front i need to fix the grill because right here it's broken I'm just going to do like some JB Weld and fix it. And then I want to re-clear the headlights. So I had it on my 370Z and it's been maintaining its clearness for like about, I would say, I think it's been over two years already. So I know it's going to last once I do it on this car because these headlights are not actually that bad. They just need to be re-cleared. So we need to do that. Like re-clearing headlights makes a huge, huge difference on a car. It makes it look way newer than what it is when it has really bad headlights like this. And then the grill, I do want to paint it as well. Well, I want to wrap it like this part right on the top. I can wrap that. But the bottom portion, I'll most likely have to paint it because it has too much like detail when it comes to it. I do actually want to remove a lot of the chrome pieces. So on the side as well, on the door, 
I want to wrap that black as well. And then up here, the paint is kind of like fading. You can see like a few spots here and there. So I do want to wrap the roof as well. I do actually have a large wrap um, in gloss black. So I can do this whenever I get a chance. I can wrap this. And then the back, I installed the lip and I fixed it. I had a 3M tape at the bottom. But um, I will make another video on that, on how I fixed that issue with it coming off. There's just 3M tape all the way down. And then I do want to remove, not remove, but wrap the chrome in black and maybe remove the badging with the M45. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think it'll look cleaner if I remove it. Um, the wing, I actually want to get like a duck bill, like a larger one. So I'll have to get like an add-on for that one. Because this one doesn't look bad, but I think it'll look a lot better with like a longer looking duck bill. And then of course exhaust. I do want to add a beefy exhaust. I don't want to add something that's like extremely loud where it's like annoying. I just want like a nice rumble when I turn it on. Nothing excessive because... Uh, right now when you actually push the car you can hear the engine a lot and it sounds really good and i technically don't have cats to the header so it might sound really really bad if i just do like a straight pipe because technically it'll be a straight pipe from the headers going all the way back so i do need to ask some type of muffler or something just to make sure that it doesn't sound horrible but of course that'll be in the future but overall i mean the car looks amazing it looks really good um, it does have a few like scratches here and there that are pretty annoying like i think there's a dent on the other side and then right here has another like scratch i got it like that from copart in case you guys don't know this car was actually purchased from copart for really cheap that's why i ended up fixing it up because i wanted to use it as a daily uh, so far honestly no regrets everything's been coming out really really good all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and end the video right there i'm really enjoying the car right now i love how it looks with the current stance on it I've never had white wheels before, but after purchasing these, I've never noticed how hard it is to maintain white wheels. Like every single time I drive it and I go out to check it out, has a bunch of brake dust build up all over the wheels and I have to wipe it down like every single day. So it does look really good though. I do like the white and the silver contrast. I think it looks really well with this car. I've always liked how silver looks with white wheels. I just think it looks really good and it doesn't look so plain because black wheels are nice as well, but I feel like the white actually gives a little bit more character to the actual wheel than kind of looking kind of bland without any detail to it. But that's going to conclude the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It gives you a lot of information on the coilovers, which ones you can pick up. And so far, I haven't had any issues. It actually rides really good and I have no complaints so far. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.